Post-Keynesian economics is a school of economic thought with its origins in the general theory of John Maynard Keynes, with subsequent development influenced to a large degree by Michal Kalecki, Joan Robinson, Nicholas Kaldor, Sidney Weintraub, Paul Davidson, Piro Sraffa and Jan Kregel. Historian Robert Skidelsky argues that the post-Keynesian school has remained closest to the spirit of Keynes' original work. It is a heterodox approach to economics. Topic. Introduction The term, post-Keynesian, was first used to refer to a distinct school of economic thought by Eichner and Kregel 1975 and by the establishment of the Journal of Post-Keynesian Economics in 1978. Prior to 1975, and occasionally in more recent work, post Keynesian could simply mean economics carried out after 1936, the date of Keynes's general theory. Post Keynesian economists are united in maintaining that Keynes' theory is seriously misrepresented by the two other principal Keynesian schools, Neo Keynesian economics, which was orthodox in the 1950s and 60s, and New Keynesian economics, which, together with various strands of neoclassical economics, has been dominant in mainstream macroeconomics since the 1980s. Post-Keynesian economics can be seen as an attempt to rebuild economic theory in the light of Keynes' ideas and insights. However, even in the early years, post-Keynesians such as Joan Robinson sought to distance themselves from Keynes and much current post-Keynesian thought cannot be found in Keynes. Some post-Keynesians took a more progressive view than Keynes himself, with greater emphasis on worker-friendly policies and redistribution. Robinson, Paul Davidson and Hyman Minsky emphasized the effects on the economy of practical differences between different types of investments, in contrast to Keynes' more abstract treatment. The theoretical foundation of post-Keynesian economics is the principle of effective demand, that demand matters in the long as well as the short run, so that a competitive market economy has no natural or automatic tendency towards full employment. Contrary to the views of new Keynesian economists working in the neoclassical tradition, post-Keynesians do not accept that the theoretical basis of the market's failure to provide full employment is rigid or sticky prices or wages. Post-Keynesians typically reject the AS-LM model of John Hicks, which is very influential in neo-Keynesian economics. The contribution of post-Keynesian economics has extended beyond the theory of aggregate employment to theories of income distribution, growth, trade and development in which money demand plays a key role, whereas in neoclassical economics these are determined by the forces of technology, preferences and endowment. In the field of monetary theory, post-Keynesian economists were among the first to emphasize that money supply responds to the demand for bank credit, so that a central bank cannot control the quantity of money, but only manage the interest rate by managing the quantity of monetary reserves. This view has largely been incorporated into monetary policy, which now targets the interest rate as an instrument, rather than the quantity of money. In the field of finance, Hyman Minsky put forward a theory of financial crisis based on financial fragility, which has received renewed attention. <laughs> strands There are a number of strands to post-Keynesian theory with different emphases. Joan Robinson regarded Michal Kalecki's theory of effective demand to be superior to Keynes' theories. Kalecki's theory is based on a class division between workers and capitalists and imperfect competition. Robinson also led the critique of the use of aggregate production functions based on homogeneous capital, the Cambridge capital controversy, winning the argument but not the battle. The writings of Piero Sraffa were a significant influence on the post-Keynesian position in this debate, though Sraffa and his neo-Ricardian followers drew more inspiration from David Ricardo than Keynes. Much of Nicholas Kaldor's work was based on the ideas of increasing returns to scale, path dependency, and the key differences between the primary and industrial sectors. Paul Davidson follows Keynes closely in placing time and uncertainty at the center of theory, from which flow the nature of money and of a monetary economy. Monetary circuit theory, originally developed in continental Europe, places particular emphasis on the distinctive role of money as means of payment. Each of these strands continues to see further development by later generations of economists. Modern monetary theory is a relatively recent offshoot influenced by the macroeconomic modeling of Wynne Godley and Hyman Minsky's ideas on the labor market, as well as chartalism and functional finance. Topic. Current work Topic. Journals 
Much post-Keynesian research is published in the Review of Keynesian Economics Roque, the Journal of Post-Keynesian Economics founded by Sidney Weintraub and Paul Davidson, the Cambridge Journal of Economics, the Review of Political Economy, and the Journal of Economic Issues JEI. <laughs> United Kingdom There is also a United Kingdom academic association, the Post-Keynesian Economics Society This was previously called the Post-Keynesian Economics Study Group but changed its name in 2018. <laughs> United States In the United States, there are several universities with a post-Keynesian bent. The New School, New York City the University of Massachusetts Amherst The University of Utah, Salt Lake City Bucknell University, Lewisburg, Pennsylvania Levy Economics Institute at Bard College, Annandale on Hudson, New York University of Missouri Kansas City University of Denver Topic. Canada In Canada, post keynesians can be found at the University of Ottawa and Laurentian University. Topic: <inaudible> Germany. In Germany, post-keynesianism is very strong at the Berlin School of Economics and Law and its master's degree course, International Economics (MA). Many German post-keynesians are organized in the Forum Macroeconomics and Macroeconomic Policies. Topic Australia Topic University of Newcastle The University of Newcastle in New South Wales, Australia, houses the Centre of Full Employment and Equity, Coffee, an active educational, research and collaborative organization whose focus is on policies, restoring full employment, and achieving an economy that delivers equitable outcomes for all. Coffee's work is on post-Keynesian macroeconomics, labor economics, regional development and monetary economics. Research conducted by Coffee is aimed at developing a model for new global economy that achieves full employment without the consequences imposed by the dominant neoliberal economic policies. Topic: <laughs> Major post-Keynesian economists. Major post-Keynesian economists of the first and second generations after Keynes include Topic. See also Keynesian economics Neo-Keynesian economics New Keynesian economics Topic. Notes Topic. References Arrestus, Philip. Post Keynesian Economics Towards Coherence. Cambridge Journal of Economics, 20 111 135. doi 101093 oxfordjournalscj A013604. Davidson, Paul. John Maynard Keynes. Palgrave Macmillan. Eichner and Kregel 1975. An Essay on Post-Keynesian Theory, A New Paradigm in Economics. Journal of Economic Literature, 13-1293-1314. Harcourt, Jeff 2006. The Structure of Post-Keynesian Economics. Columbia University Press. Hayes, M. G. 2008. The Economics of Keynes, A New Guide to the General Theory. Edward Elgar Publishing. ISBN 978-1-84844-056-2. Caldor, Nicholas. 1980. Monetarism and UK Economic Policy. Cambridge Journal of Economics. 4 271 292. doi 10.1093/slash a AO35457. King, J. E. A History of Post-Keynesian Economics Since 1936. Edward Elgar Publishing. 
ISBN 978-1-84064-420-3. Minsky, Hyman John Maynard Keynes. Columbia University Press. Passanetti, Luigi Keynes and the Cambridge Keynesians. Columbia University Press. Robinson, Joan, Eatwell, John An Introduction to Modern Economics 2 ed., McGraw-Hill. Skidelsky, Robert Keynes, The Return of the Master. Alan Lane. p. 42. ISBN 978-1-84614-258-1. Further reading Holt, Rick, Pressman, Stephen A New Guide to Post-Keynesian Economics. Routledge. Holt, Rick, Pressman, Stephen Empirical Post-Keynesian Economics, Looking at the Real World. M. E. Sharp. Topic. External links Structure of Post-Keynesian Economics Jeff Harcourt William Vickrey, 15 Fatal Fallacies of Financial Fundamentalism, A Disquisition on Demand-Side Economics Presentation of Post-Keynesian Economics Mark Lavoie Samuelson and the Keynes, Post-Keynesian Revolution, by Paul Davidson Professor L. Randall Ray, Why the Federal Budget is Not Like a Household Budget.